traumatic stress or chronic everyday stress, what happens is cortisol keeps getting pumped out, keeps getting pumped out. And when cortisol goes up, cortisol is manufactured from one of our key reproductive hormones or mother hormone called progesterone. So consider progesterone, progestation, you know, it, it, it is to support fertility. It, progesterone is predominant in the second half of our uh, menstrual cycle post ovulation. So it's kind of the hormone that makes the bed essentially in the uterus for the embryo to implant. So that's progesterone. And cortisol is made from progesterone, downstream from progesterone. So when we're having to make cortisol, progesterone goes down. And with that, all the other hormones that are downstream from there, and that includes estrogen, DHEA, and testosterone are reproductive hormones, are hormones of sexual desire, are hormones of fertility, are hormones you know, of pregnancy. So all of those get depleted to sacrifice to make this life-saving hormone cortisol. But when cortisol is going on for too long, you get this significant depletion. And, and in my case, it became infertility. So I would say, and I teach this and I've taught residents and other physicians around the world, but the eyes don't see what the mind don't know.